Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. Peripheral producer Hori has announced they're working on a new remote play grip for the slim model Vita. The new model has L3 and R3 buttons on the back for remote play usage as well as L2 and R2 shoulder buttons. No date was given for the new peripheral. MOP, Operation Cleanup, was announced for Vita this week. A port of an already released PlayStation 4 game, the game revolves around trash coming to life and needing to destroy it via the R precision platforming. The game comes out in next week's update on the North American store. Europe doesn't have a definite date yet. Downwell has officially been announced for Vita after being seen in a Japanese footage reel recently. The game will be $5 and release on May 24 with cross-buy for PS4. The Vita version will be playable with vertical orientation. Stranger of Sword City is getting an expanded version in Japan. The new version, titled New Interpretation Stranger of Sword City, will have new classes, systems, events and balances. The game will be out on the 21st of July in Japan, with digital owners of the previous game being able to buy the game with just under half of the normal price. Hatsune Miku Project Diva X is launching in North America and Canada on the 30th of August, both physically and digitally. The first run copies will contain a microfiber pouch with the game's five new auras depicted on it. Europe has no date yet. And finally this week, Corridor Z, one of the two trophy list games I talked about last week, showed up on the Vita on the previous store update in North America and Europe. That's it for this week. Channel update. Corridor Z video is going up tomorrow. After that, there's no videos planned, so it'll probably be the next few videos of my PSN store summary going public until MOP comes out. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.